So far, in talking about packages and package diagrams, we've been talking about packages that hold classes. But as I said earlier, you can use packages to group any kind of element in UML. Another popular use for packages is use case diagrams, and that's what this movie is about. We'll take a look at how packages can simplify your use case diagrams and offer a higher level view of the system. This should look familiar. This is part of the use case diagram that we generated for an automated teller machine. We have an actor. Let's call that actor the customer. And that actor has several different goals in interacting with an ATM. The customer is the primary actor in the withdraw cash use case, the deposit funds use case, transfer funds, and also check balance. And that's perfectly comprehensible as it is. But you can roll these use cases up into a package. Let's see how that's done. We'll create a package and let's call it transactions. Let's make it a little bit bigger so it can hold these use cases. So we've got all these associations connecting the customer to the various use cases. We'll remove those for the moment and we'll simply move the use cases into the transactions package. So all the different transactions that a customer might want to do with an ATM are now contained within the transactions passage. So instead of having four lines uh, connecting to the different use cases, we can just connect the customer to the transactions package and everything that's in it. Much simpler, much neater. And you don't need to show the use cases that are contained in the transactions package. You'll want to define those somewhere, but you don't necessarily have to show them in your diagram. So we can take those right out and we know that the customer is the primary actor in a group of use cases that are collected in the transactions package. If you have a complex use case diagram like this one, and this is just getting started, this is for a college registration system, it can be very cluttered and very hard to understand, very difficult to get a higher level view of the system. In interacting with this registration system, we have a student who can be the primary actor in registering for a course, setting status, browsing the courses in the course catalog, requesting a transcript, and so on. We have a faculty member who could be the primary actor in submitting courses and grades and receiving course rosters and room assignments. We also have the registrar who's the primary actor in a number of use cases that have to do with administration of the registration system. And this is very cluttered and again difficult to get a higher level view. So what we can do as we did in the ATM example is roll these use cases up into packages and get a higher level view of the system. And here's one way that you might do that. We have our three primary actors, student, faculty, and registrar. But in the previous diagram, there was a question about who could do this action, who could browse courses, who could look through or search the course catalog. We have that connected to the student, but presumably you wouldn't have to be a student to do that. So in looking at this and trying to get a higher level view of the system, that was a question that came up. And we solved that by generalizing these actors into an actor called public. And public is associated with all of the different use cases in the search package. So that might include looking for a course, browsing the course catalog, looking at various policies relating to registering at the school and so on and anyone can do that. And then we rolled the use cases based on an actor's role up into various packages. So things like registering for a course, uh, withdrawing from a course, things like that we can roll up into a student activities package. Things like getting a class roster 
or submitting grades can be rolled into the faculty activities package and anything that has to do with administering the system can be rolled up into an administration package. So obviously you'd have to be able to find the contents of these packages somewhere so you know what the activities are, but you can see how this diagram is at once less cluttered and shows you a higher level of the system. So that's when to use packages in your use case diagrams. They're very, very useful for combining use cases into sets of related actions or goals and showing a higher level view of the system where you're not looking so much at individual use cases, but you're looking at actors and packages of related use cases.